welcome to day two of the Christmas Creep Challenge. It is December 4th and you survived your first workout, which would have been yesterday's. I hope you did well. Again, I want to hear from you. Email me, uh, post a message on the blog. Here is the info again. Followtheleader.com or melleaderblogspot.com and uh, give me the info, let me know um, how you're doing. I wanna know what you want to see in the workouts. Okay, notice the t-shirt I'm wearing today? It says, if you want sympathy, oh, wait, give me that. It says, call your mama, okay? I was nice to you on day one. We need to get down to business, get it done. Showed you lots of modifications in yesterday's workout. Again, today, we'll go through it. All I need you to do is keep moving. Doesn't matter if you get pooped out halfway through, I'll give you a modification, stick with it. Just keep the feet moving through the whole workout. Some days are gonna be good, some days are gonna be bad. Some days you're a rock star, some days you're not. It's just how it goes. Some days I'm huffing and puffing and I'm like, oh my God, what was I thinking? I must have did this workout up when I was drinking a cup of coffee. So anyways, do your best, that's all I can ask. Make time for it and get it done. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so all we're gonna need today is, if you don't have it, I'd like to have a skipping rope. So if not, don't worry about it. I'm gonna give you kind of knees up, but I like to mix up a little bit, otherwise you get bored. And you're gonna need yourself a set of dumbbells. Again, we're gonna go through two different routines, uh, three exercises in each, three rounds. Uh, I'll show you the modifications at the beginning and uh, let's get to it. So. First thing we're going to do is we are going to skip 30 seconds. If you don't have a skipping rope, all I want to see is high knees. So your hands are like this. Good idea is you can put your hands out front like this. Try to get your knees up. Modification would be here like this or knees up. I'm going to do a combo. I'm going to do 30 skips and then I'm going to do 10 knees up and that should give us about 20 seconds. That's where our goal is. Okay, so big breath. Let's get into it. Knees up. I'm going to skip. is grab a dumbbell, nice and easy, because again, we're just warming up. We're gonna do side to side squat with the front raise. So my side to side squat, I'm gonna hold this here just for now. Side to side squat, up, and then back down. Okay, get the knees, legs warmed up, and I'm gonna add the front raise. So as I step forward, front raise, back up. Front raise, back up, nice and tall. Sideways, this is what it's gonna look like. Big breath, all the weights, in my heels, off we go. Let's do a couple more. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Back to our skip or knees up, whatever one you prefer. 30 skips, 10 knees up. Let's go. One, two, ten. Ten, three, 30. Go down, 10 high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Dumbbell, big breath, let's go. One, two, we're gonna do ten of these. Three, four, five, six, seven. Big breath. Remember, the arms are getting tired. Hold the dumbbell here. Just keep moving. That's all I need. Okay, big breath. We're gonna go back to our skip again. Okay, this is going to be the constant. Then we're going to go into our inchworm afterwards. Big breath, let's go. 10, 20, 30. Big breath, down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10. Inchworm, this is what it's going to look like. So I'm standing nice and tall. I'm going to bend my knees, hands reach the ground, and I'm going to walk out into a plank position. Hold it, bend my knees, walk up nice and slow, stand up tall. Okay, bend the knees, walk out, abs tight, hit it, walk up slow, nice and tall. Again, well if you remember the ab, abs are nice and tight. I don't want to see you walking out. Okay, it's inchworm. I didn't say soggy inchworm. One more, big breath, all the way up, hit it, and back up. Whoo, pretty easy, eh? You're like, well, I can do this, no problem. Easy breezy, let's go now, bring it on, do me some harm. Let's go, this is so easy. Let's go. 
Step it down. Okay, one, one, two, two, three. Get that waist going, your obliques. Three, last one. Your obliques are what run down the side here. Last set of hopping, let's do it. One, two, three, four. Big breath. Okay, we're gonna go into our reverse flies. So I'm gonna stick with the thighs. Form, form, form. Watch your back, bend over, grab your dumbbells. So I'm gonna show you straight on. This is what I want for your reverse flies, okay? I was thinking of this if you're hugging a tree, arms come up and then down. I'm not looking for this. Full extension, oh, so hard on your back. I always say I'm like a downhill skier. Butt up, chest up slightly, arms are in front, comes up, and just a little bit in front. My neck is relaxed, comes up, big breath. Just like this, I'm trying to squeeze a pencil right between my shoulder blades. Neck should be relaxed. 10, big breath, let's go. One, two, Three, baby, four, five, six, nice and controlled, seven, eight, two to go, nine, and ten. Come on, nice and slow. Hang on to these. We're going to do a full sit up with a jab cross. So, this is what it's going to look like. Sitting down here like this, I'm going to show you full straight on in and sideways. So dumbbells are just here at my chest. I'm going to do a full set up and I'm going to jab, cross. Back up, jab, cross. So I'm going to sideways. If the thighs feel too much, then go ahead, use something lighter. You never want to be stressing the back. We've got eight of these. So let's go. Full set up, jab, cross. Back down. Try to alternate, jab, cross. Make sure as we come up, we're sitting up tall. Big breath. Knees are nice and soft. Always projecting the lower back. All the way back up. Four. We're halfway there. Get that waist really twisted as much as you can. Head goes with. It's not looking forward. Twist it with your waist. Last one. Back up. Awesome. Good. Dumbbells down, bring yourself up. Now let's put it all together. Okay, so again, put one dumbbell to the side, get it out of the way. Reverse lunge with our oblique twists. Okay, add the hop, alternating four hops, then we'll go through. We've got six on each side. Big breath, standing up. So let's go. One, one, two, nice controls. Two, three, Three, I'm going to show you sideways. Four, four, two to go. Five. Oh, we forgot our hops. Let's have my switch. We were doing four and then hops. One, two, three, four. I think there's something wrong with that. I'll go sideways. Let's go. We got four. Four. Three. more. Four, alternating lunges, hold it here. One, two, three, four. Last set, you can do this. Big breath, big breath. Opposite arm, opposite legs. Big breath. That was tight. Let's go. Three, three, one more. You can do this. Four, four, Hold it here. One, two, three, four. Whew. Catch your breath. Back to reverse flies. Okay. Ten reverse flies. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you know, you stand on one leg, balance kind of like a bird, abs tight, big breath. Do five and five. Or you're on two. Just make sure the legs that we're standing on is bent. You want those knees locked out. Big breath, one more. If you want, you can switch legs, or you're like this, on two. Big breath. Remember, anytime you incorporate one leg, balance. 
We get the core activated just a little bit more. And last one. Awesome. Down, sit down. Catch your breath. Again, I'm going to show you without the dumbbells. Let's do a full sit up, jab, cross. Full sit up, jab, cross. Let's go. Eight more to go. Big breath. Four. Spider-Man. One, 
one. Think of balancing a tray on your back. Two. Hop it up. Just keep coming out of a burpee. Stand up. One. Two. Make sure you don't jump into the wall. Not that I've done that before. Let's go. Big hop. Hands down. Spider Man. One. One. Two. Two. Jump up. Two hops back. Should we get the swing of it now? A little bit faster. Ball hop. Right down to your plank. One. One. Two. Two. Jump it up. One. Two. Last one. Big hop. Hands down. Hit your plank. One. One. Two. Two. Jump it up. Two hops. Back. Big breath. Okay. Let the heart rate come down. We're going to go into our dumb, dumbbells, grab them. Bent, arm, bent over, two arm row, into a kickback. Okay? So my hands are out front. I'll come up a little bit closer here. Okay, my hands are in front. My back is flat, there's water running down, my knees are soft. Right up to the sides, nice and tight. Kick it out. Back. Down. Up. Kick it out. Remember, when you're doing the tricep, really important here, I pull up nice and tight to my side. As I kick this out, I'm flexing my triceps on the back here. See my wrist here? I'm not pointing. This should be flat. The top of the dumbbell here, as it's coming up, should be flat like it's hitting the ceiling. Okay? Flat. No. Yes. Okay? If you want to splice it up, make it a little bit harder, you can balance on one leg. Set the core. Let's go. We got eight on each side. One, all the way out. Sixteen in total. Big breath. Two. Right down. All the way up. Three. Out tight. Four. What I love about this when I give this to my clients is five. I can give super heavy weight because at this point when you're balancing on your back, your hamstrings and your buttocks should almost be on fire. You forget about how much weight you're lifting in your arms. Shake it out, and I go sideways. Switch legs, back is flat. I pull it up, extend, and back down, okay? I think this is a better view here. Okay, other legs, Whew. set my core, focus. If you were all over the map, can't balance, drop that toe down behind you, keep going. I'm showing your modification, okay? Even that toe just tapping, Still working, eventually it'll come off and you're here. Also, find when you do balance exercises, three to go. You have to focus on what you're doing. Your thoughts can't be wandering around to everything you have to be doing in the day. You need to be here, right now, in the moment. Think about what it is you're doing in order for your body to balance and not be falling all over the map. Okay, big breath. We're almost going to finish up here. We've got our last coming up here. It's going to be our frog hop. We're going to do that one more time, that whole circuit, and we are done. Big breath. Remember, I promised you 20 minute workouts. Let's get this done. Frog hop, jump down, two Spider Man, two hops back. Big breath. Frog hop, and down. Let's go. One, one, two, two. Jump it up, little hops back. One, Two, abs nice and tight. Big hop forward, frog hop. Jump it out, spider man. One, one, two, two. Feet down, two hops back. One, two. Let's go, we're halfway there. Big frogs, hands down. One, one, two, two. Jump it forward, two hops back. Woo, last set, let's go. Big frog hop, hands down. One, one, two, two. Hop it up, two little ones back. Woo! Big breath, grab our dumbbells, bent arm rows, back flat, triceps, 10 on each arm. Let's get this baby done. Back flat, water running down it. Modified, remember to be here, or two feet. Otherwise, you're up on one foot. Kick it back, two, core is tight, three, 
three, all the way down, four, nice and tight, five, squeeze those triceps, let them know they're supposed to be working, they're not along for the ride, three to go, two, last one, Woo. shake it out, relax the neck, other side, remember, off we go, two feet, Modified, and then off the ground. Whew. Let's go. Halfway there, we got five to go. Five. Neck is relaxed. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Oh, and down. Whew. Big breath. And finish off. Got like 30 seconds. Super quick. Some little man. I guess I call this my little running man. So all we're doing is I come up, crunch with alternate leg. Remember, I will stay back. Chin to the ceiling. Big breath. We need ten of these. Let's just say before we got two startups. It's three, three. Nice and slow. Controlled work. The crunch. Big breath. We're halfway there. Let's go five, four, three, two, last one, each side. Good, hug your knees, rock yourself up. Woo! Good job. We did it. Awesome. Okay, so last thing we're going to do is nice and easy. Get into our stretch. Remember, one foot forward. And again, if you don't have time for your stretch, get out, go for a walk, do something. I'm just going to lean into this here. Toe up. Remember, whenever we're stretching, on a scale of 1 to 10, it should only be a 4. Don't kill it. Nice and gentle. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Okay, I'm going to switch sides. Remember, again, I'm keeping my chest up. This front knee does not go in the front toe. Opposite hand reaching up. Get the stretch here through the hip flexors. Big breath. Toe up. Whew. So remember, these workouts are going to be shorter, a little more intense. And that's the style of it. It's that high intensity for short periods of time, burning maximum amount of calories. We don't need to be hitting the gym for an hour, an hour and a half in a day. I, I just crazy when people tell me, uh, when I've seen them, and they're like, oh yeah, I'm the gym for an hour and a half, two hours a day. Why? At some point, your body gets so tired. We want those short bursts of energy, you got maximum effort, the quality is there, and uh, I don't know, I don't have an hour and a half to spend in the gym. And I even, I have a gym and I can't even be down here for an hour and a half. Big breath. Remember we're stretching through the shoulders, arms out straight, pull it towards you, remember never on the joint, be careful, no pressure on the joints. Big breath, bring yourself up nice and tall, Whew. make some shoulder rolls. Forward, back, I'm going to keep it short. I know you need to get on every day. If you have time later on, get a stretch on. Awesome, I'm so glad you worked out today. Remember, contact me, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Get on with it and have a great day. See you tomorrow.